Right, it's not often I literally write some notes down after watching a Satisfactory 1.0 dev update uh, announcement. And as you know, they've just dropped a video in regards to the story uh, that is going to be happening with 1.0. And it's all about uh, the lore and what's to come and what's not to come. But if you also enjoy the content, make sure to hit that like button. And also, right now, make sure you subscribe because we are very, very close to 50k. So hopefully you can be part of my 50k journey. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I thank you for all the love and support. And as always, leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. So the first things first, what kind of got announcement? The, the story is not what I want to pay attention to. It was more than what was shown in the video because there were some juicy things in there you might not have seen. So in regards to the story, Snook talked about how the narrative has changed over this course of development uh, in regards to different iterations and how Hannah was obviously working on the world stuff while she's trying to do the story things and finding out it was just... There was too much, it was too vast for what they wanted to do. So they dialed it down a bit and then made something that was reasonable for the actual deadline or the actual timeline to release the game. So that got me wondering, as we know, we found out pretty recently that the story is now going to be implemented into the milestones. So I'm just wondering when that pivoted from not being in the milestones to the milestones is when they decided to change and finalize where they wanted to head with the story. But also Ada has uh, been confirmed that she will be staying with us in the 1.0 story, which I'm super happy about. Um, and they mentioned that, yes, they, they, they could have originally got like a voice actor to do her, but the Vocaloid that they use is kind of like a part of the brand now. We've had it for so long and it's just stuck with us and I'm good with that. Then we also found out the Summer Sloops and the Mercy Spheres was meant to be a part of the story, as we know over the many years. But now they've dialed that back and that is only going to be in the story very subtle but everything else about the lord just remember just it's it's gone this the story's been literally changed so anything you might have heard in regards to what the mercy sphere says or and all that kind of stuff regarding the president and the vaccine and all that kind of stuff wipe that from your memory because that might not be the case anymore okay so the main premise of this video is i wanted to talk to you about some of the features that i noticed and some of the chat noticed within the actual um video itself and the first thing was the waterfalls. You can't bloody miss them. And it is something that has been coming for a while, along with the water. Um, the water, if you didn't see that as well, has been changed in the video. Uh, and I think many years back, three years back, roughly around update three to update four, um, is when we uh, got a video with Jace and Ben, the technical um, artist who was working on the water and showing the kind of new shaders and stuff they was doing and how the new waterfalls was going to look. Um, but then eventually that was meant to come, but then it got scrapped for update five. These changes are not coming in update five. They will come in a future update. Don't ask me why they're not coming out. There's reasons we work on different versions of the game at the same time and compatibilities, blah, blah, blah. They're going to come at some point in the future, just not in update five. But now, as you can tell in the video, we've got the new waterfalls, we've got new water, uh, and this looks so, so much better, especially the water. The next thing is the summer sloop base. It's obviously changed. It's got now, they're not floating in midair. There's actually got a base and structure to them. And you can kind of see it kind of coils around with like this weird purple alien glow. It kind of gives it that, that bioluminescence kind of feel. So kind of intrigued to see how this is going to look at night. Next, the Samor. This is kind of confirms with what we've been kind of looking at this past couple of weeks with the teasers in regard to what I've been calling the Pepto-Bismol, which is the pink fluid we've been seeing in the actual uh, pipes and now looking at the new Samor that kind of goes in hand in hand with what is potentially in that pipe you can literally see it's near enough bright pink with purple little tinges uh or green tinges sorry uh and it kind of makes sense with what we've seen in these pipes and all that kind of stuff so very interested to see how that is going to work within Samor. But I am curious about the Samor because very early on in the game, Samor was depletable. Is it going to still be depletable in 1.0 or not? I highly, highly doubt it. Next thing we have is the bacon change. We can clearly see that the edible bacon has been changed. And then we get this little pop-up at the bottom where Ada has got a little new UI kind of fun interface, uh, which and 
from here you can tell she's got a new dialogue which her whole dialogue has been rewritten for the whole entire game potential edible collected reminder that look and smell alone do not provide sufficient data to determine exact risk of consumption next up we have this which is in the um, spire coast which looks normal until you look at the water and one thing i started noticing was like we can start to see the oil which i've never really noticed when you play a game too much and you notice something so subtle it's like is that changed? Is that different? Then I started looking, you can kind of see the water bubbling and it looks like oil slick. And that is because there's oil nodes there. So I'm just wondering if it's affecting the water around it kind of thing, just to kind of go home. Oh, hey, here's some oil and whatnot. Next up is the swamp. The swamp looks like it has, and looks like it's confirmed right here that it has had a little bit of a color tweak. Cause as we know, there was a rework with the swamp, which made it very dingy in gray. And the coal color palette for it was just not, I was, it wasn't my kind of cup of tea. There's been so many times like when I've been in a swamp for a YouTube video where I've had to change the color palette just to uh, uh, color correct it a little bit just so it's a bit more visible. And so many people have said this as well. They're not a big fan of the color we were, uh, rework that happened with the world changes. And uh, this one looks so much better. It's cleaner. You can kind of see what's in the distance as well. You can see the colors where normally that would be very gray and very dark bluish and just didn't look the best. And then there's also this little guy in the corner. Is this a new variant of the bees? Um, we can kind of tell it looks like an, the egg shape, the shell shape, and it looks like it will split apart. So I'm just wondering, Snut has been teasing or announcing little things about lasers, right? Could you imagine if these bees are laser bees? <laughs> I'm just saying, imagine like alpha bees. Everything has an alpha except the bees. What if this is a new variant? It could be a kind of cool little addition uh, and could be kind of fun. But it keeps going on about lasers and lasers and lasers. And he did this with many other updates regarding like kept going on about certain thing and over and over and over again in like the live streams and like when I'm live streaming, he's mentioned it in the chat and all this kind of stuff. And then I wonder if the new bees potentially could be laser bees just shooting it, it sounds a bit weird, I know, but it's probably not going to happen. But I'm all I'm picturing now is somebody creating a mod with bees firing lasers and hearing the Star Wars like gun sounds. That kind of funny, and then yeah, that'd be hilarious. Then we get the piece de resistance. If I said that, I'm probably said that. I'm a spoon. Allow, I'll allow it. Um, is the new uh, hub UI change uh, cleaner? Very more sleek, very button pressy now. You can kind of see, uh, obviously, when buttons get pressed and all this kind of stuff. It just looks so much cleaner, but I'm very intrigued to see how the big red button is going to interact with this new UI. Is it still going to be a big red button that appears there? Or is maybe something, a switch going to open outside of the UI and you press it that way? That could be kind of cool. And then finally, but not least, is the actual... Uh, project assembly which is at top of the um, space elevator which has finally been revealed uh, to us even though the last time it was revealed there was very a lot of clouds in the way and what could it be and all that kind of stuff uh, but now it looks visible and it looks very early game and it looks very naked if you ask me so i'm thinking the way it's going to progress throughout the story is every time we do a phase you're going to see something get built on that thing either a ship on that little flap that looks like it can rest and then i'm curious about this little cube as well i was actually speaking um to kibbs in his stream just before i started recording this and i mentioned and i was like could you imagine if that square block right there is going to be the food court because if you look at all these like beams that are coming from it you can kind of see like little delivery pods moving back, like little shuttles going from A to B and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just wondering, could you imagine if that little square is to actually make a little coffee shop? Just kind of a little lookout point. You can kind of look, look around and whatnot. And then I'm thinking on the other end, it could be maybe a ship could get rested on there for you to get out of there. But that's just all speculation on my behalf. And it'd be kind of fun. It'd be kind of you know interesting to see that kind of thing so let me know what you guys think in the comments but as a little bonus round at the end of the video as always we get a little snippet of something we finally heard the words that was 
being mentioned by this weird purpley eye things we've been seeing over this last couple of few teasers we've had this past few months. Your waves lap at our shores. When will you land? To file the structure. It spoke the words, potentially, don't quote me on this, your waves lap at our shores. That's what the chat was saying and I could kind of hear, but I could hear your waves lap without our shores. So it's, I was kind of like, what does that mean? So it's definitely a metaphor or an analogy for something. And I did a little bit of research and the only thing I could find was waking up in the morning, the sound of waves lapping on the shore, I did whatever the singular feeling of at last, having escaped from whatever it is we were all endlessly trying to flee with uh, with our travels. And that's the only kind of metaphor I can kind of come across. So I thought it might have been from like a past book or something, or maybe a famous quote from something. But if you guys know anything about it, please let me know in the comments because I can't wrap my head around what it kind of means. So the whole phrase either says, your waves lap at our or without our shores, uh, when will you learn and defy your scriptures? It's either defy or defile. It is more likely defile our scriptures. Because what the Bible literally says about defilement is unclean in scripture means to be defiled, polluted, unhealthy, or unfit, and refers to foods that are unwit, defilement of religious character, and morale of spiritual impurity the word defilement describes a sinful and unfit condition. So does that mean there is a potential for that? Because it, it is kind of like an evil aider that's kind of showing, right? And is, is it showing what she's saying is a failed attempt at doing something? Are we unfit for it? Is it, are we like, there's no the waves lap, don't lap our shores so what you're trying to do for us is not meeting our criteria so you're unfit for the purpose of fix it is that what she's trying to basically say but that is roughly around it i don't want to take this video on to too long but that is what i kind of broke down from this video and as always if you enjoy the content i'm going to be doing a lot of stuff on satisfactory 1.0 and we are very 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 close to 50k subscribers so please Please, if you're not, subscribe because we're there for our first milestone and halfway to 100k. So thank you so much for watching the video. And as always, keep bloody smiling.